everyone, it's Weekong. What's my channel? What's going on, you guys? For today's video, we are here in the Chapney kitchen, and we're gonna make some coffee. I have been stuck in this house, and coffee is like what's we need to be to brew. Today, I have five easy coffee recipes for you, and we're also gonna be reviewing Chamberlain Coffee by Miss Emma Chamberlain. I did it both ways in cold brew and with the regular tea bag. So sit down, get yourself some coffee, and let's jump into the video. Hey guys, it's me again. I know y'all miss me. <laughs> <laughs> For the first recipe, we're going to be making a dirty iced chai latte. And basically a dirty iced chai is literally just a chai latte with coffee in it. It's just to help give you know, an extra boost of energy. If you're at like a Starbucks or you have an espresso machine, definitely use espresso for it. But basically you're going to do equal parts of your milk and your liquid chai concentrate. I like the Taza one, it's actually really good. So I probably do like three or four ounces each, I really don't count. But then I did brew like a little four ounce cup of coffee to go in and add my in. And today I'm doing it over ice because it's super good. If you do want to make your chai hot, I will say if you have like an almond milk, like a silk vanilla almond milk, and then the Tazo, and you put it in the microwave for like two or so minutes to make it hot, it's literally a vanilla chai latte from Starbucks, same thing. All right, I think all y'all know what this is already, but I do want to go ahead and make it for you guys. Let's make some doggone coffee. Basically for this, it's literally just equal parts of each thing. So equal parts, instant coffee, sugar, and water. I did two tablespoons of each. It's really simple to make. The hardest part is really just <laughs> using it to mix it up. However, if y'all want to, you can go in and get yourself a blender. I did make it one day with the blender, and it was a lot easier to do it that way. Like I said, you want to continue to stir this for about five or so minutes until you get like a thick um, consist consistency. <laughs> I can't say my word today of it. Um, just to make sure it's going to go on really well. You see at the end and how pretty it was. Also, you see me halfway through here at an apron. I was like, if I'm in the kitchen, I'm going to need an apron. So I was just being extra put an apron on. But I made this for my little brother, Caden. He just wants regular milk. So I put some milk in there for him. And then I put three or so scoops of the... Um, Basically now it's almost like a ganache or like a oh, whipped cream is kind of the consistency you're going for. So put that on there, stir it a little, and it's so good. And uh, y'all just have to try it for yourself. It's really good. my house french press coffee has been like our new thing we've been using it every single day um basically it's just a fresher more rich taste that you get from it so you want to start off by boiling some water i typically do six to eight ounces i like a little bit more um coffee and then you're going to go ahead and blend your beans now for us we like to blend our beans just because it's going to taste a lot more fresh it tastes better like so you want that bold blend you typically want to do two tablespoons for each six ounces you do so sometimes i may add a few um extra beans in it and they're going to blend it up for like 10 or so seconds and you want a coarse grind to it you're not making like curette coffee so it doesn't have to be super fine you want it to be coarse you want to get all the flavor out of it and then once you do that And then once your water is done brewing or getting ready, you're going to go ahead and pour your um, coffee beans into the french press, pour your water over it, and you're going to let it sit for four to maybe five minutes and then that's when you're going to do the pressing and I'm going to show y'all how that works. So 
coffee has been sitting for like five minutes now and now it's time to press it literally you're just gonna press straight down until it literally won't let you do it anymore i made a pretty small cup so as you see i really didn't get too much out of it that's like right at eight ounces but like i said if you want some real coffee and you want some energy make you french press coffee get you the espresso rose that's what we like to use espresso rose blend from starbucks Alright, let's make some cold brew. So we're gonna make making Chamberlain coffee. Um, I'm gonna do it how she does her cold brew. It's basically gonna require three tea bags and 600 milliliters of water. Um, you're gonna seep the tea bags in the water overnight, come back to about 12, 16 hours later, and then your coffee is ready. I will say it's some of the best cold brew I've ever had. It's strong. The longer I let it sit, the better the flavor was. And you are gonna get like a nutty, chocolate, cherry undertone flavor to it. That's exactly how she advertised it. And that's exactly what you're getting. I do really like it. Um, also, you see me putting this, <laughs> not a mason jar, but it's gonna be a mason jar today, just because I didn't have a mason jar on deck, and that's how I'm making my coffee. Um, I will say I did like it a lot. It is a little bit more on the expensive side. It is about um, $2 per pack, so it's kind of like whether you wanna spend your money there, whether you wanna spend your money getting iced coffee from Starbucks or Dunkin' Donuts. It's your call on that, to be honest. And then I also wanted to try your coffee the other way, basically just doing it the hot regular way with the tea bag and then the hot water. Basically, you're going to put your tea bag in, pour hot water over it, and let it seep for five minutes or so. You can take the tea bag after, out afterward. It just depends on how strong you want your coffee to be. Like I said a little bit earlier, I really did enjoy it. I think I liked it more as a cold brew just because I like iced coffee and if I were to buy it again, I'd get it to only make it as a cold brew. I would just do french press for my coffee because I feel like that was stronger um this coffee is a medium rose like i said it's two dollars per pack so it's kind of like going to dunkin donuts and getting like a two dollar latte it just depends on whether you want to spend your money there or spend your money at home it is a little bit on the more expensive side but i think it's worth it i think it's fun and you can say you tried it with chamberlain's coffee <laughs> Um, here you're going to see me basically taking that tea bag out, putting some milk in it and spilling it all over the place because that's what I do. And then I am obsessed with pumpkin anything. So I still have some pumpkin um, syrup left and I add a little bit of that in it. And that's how I drink my coffee. that's it for today's video thank y'all so much for watching i really hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys did you can definitely like down below and subscribe to my channel and then head over to instagram and call next chat and follow me there i'll see you guys later bye